Hey, what's up? This is In the Office. I'm John T. Meyer, and today we're going to talk about how to choose your opportunities. As entrepreneurs, your time is your most valuable resource. And so you're presented with a lot of different opportunities and a lot of different things to choose from. Maybe sit on this board, start a new project, write a blog, whatever it might be. Maybe even a new company. You never know where opportunities are gonna present themselves. But the problem is, if you're not passionate about it, you need to say no. And a lot of us here in the Midwest, I'm from South Dakota, we're not very good at saying no. We're too nice. We're afraid we're gonna offend somebody. But by saying no today, you can say yes tomorrow to something that you're more passionate about and that means more to you. So how do I choose my opportunities? I have a five point criteria. I ask myself these five questions every time a new opportunity presents itself and if they all check off, I dive in. Number one, will I learn something? I need to make sure at this point in my career that if I'm gonna do something new, I'm gonna learn something new. I wanna grow my skills, I wanna grow my knowledge and continue to get better and better with every opportunity. Question two, who will I be spending time with? If I'm gonna dive into a new project or opportunity, I wanna be, I wanna enjoy the people I'm gonna work with. So there should be people you respect, people you think you can learn from, people that will help you grow. Because if it's the opposite, if it's people you don't like, they bring you down, you just don't get along well, say no, move on. Question three, will I have fun doing this? You gotta have fun. If you're gonna spend your time doing something and you're hoping to pursue a new opportunity or sit on a board or whatever it might be, have fun doing it because you sure as hell can go find more fun somewhere else. So if it's not gonna be fun, say no. Question four, will it sacrifice the quality of my life? Now certainly, our time is valuable, but if you're gonna dive into something and it's gonna bring down, you know, say maybe your income or bring down the time that you could spend with your family or bring down your health or whatever it might be, if your life in any way is getting worse because of this opportunity, say no. That seems obvious, but you gotta ask yourself that. Question five, how does it fit into my legacy? I know it seems a little early at my age to ask that question, but you need to be thinking about it. Every project, every company, every board you sit on, everything you wanna spend your time with fits together as your legacy. So what's your vision? What's your long-term goal for where you wanna be and how you wanna be remembered? It's a loaded question. It's a hard one to think about, but one you need to start thinking about. So over the years, I expect these questions will reorder in my personal life. As I grow older, my legacy might matter more and learning things might matter less. Whatever right for you, just go with it and figure out what your criteria is. Make sure you value your time, your money, and your effort. All three of those things are super important and very critical. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit me up on Twitter. And that was In the Office. I'm John T. Meyer. We'll see you next time.